Cases of Omicron have hit a decline in Erie County since spiking last week. Health professionals weigh in on the current status of Omicron in Erie and what can be done to continue to follow that trend. Brianna Malone joins us now from the control room with more on the Omicron decline in the community. Brianna. That's right, Sean and Jill. Today marks the second anniversary of the first confirmed COVID case in the nation. There is a decline in Omicron cases after a spike at the beginning of the year, but health experts state that numbers are still higher than what they should be. Omicron cases in Erie County spiked at the beginning of the year, bringing the total case count to a peak of 4,441 just last week. As you can see here, cases have decreased over the last seven days, now totaling 2,678. Crawford and Warren counties have shown a slight increase week to week. A health professional shares her thoughts on the decline. We're not surprised that they're down somewhat. Uh, but even today's case count of 333 is still a high number. Hospitals are continuing to admit patients to the ICU despite the Omicron case count being down. 90% of those that are in the ICU battling diseases with their lives in danger are unvaccinated. By the time that the patient comes to the hospital, vaccines um, are, are too late. The patient is already infected. And the, our momentum, the medications that we have available to treat COVID are still limited. An expert from the health department weighs in on how vaccinations will help ease the severity of symptoms and hospitalizations. They really, really need that booster uh, to bring down their chance of contracting Omicron, not getting really sick from Omicron. Whether Erie County has reached its highest peak of cases or not has yet to be determined. Jill. Okay, Brianna Malone, thank you.